Hey everybody, so last week I posted a video that was originally going to be all one of my drag prep day. Uh, I dyed my hair, worked on some costumes, and did a few other things, all for like my show and the stuff I'm working on. I realized as I was editing it that it was going to be too much stuff to put all into one video, so here is the part two, but really it's just a making video. Uh, so, you saw the, a little bit of me, like, cutting out the pattern in the last video. If not, you'll see a bit more of that here. And me just working on the McCall's 1930 Archive Collection Skirt M6993. I really, really love it. It was an easy make. Um, and it's pretty much done now. So here's my making process. My apologies, the framing in this entire video is terrible. I was working with having my phone on the stand for my ring light um, instead of filming either on my computer, like I do some days. I struggled. So you will notice a lot of not great cuts and me being, like, my face being cut in half, um, which is maybe a gift to you. Ha some of it I don't really have any makeup on. Right now, my hair looks very weird. Um, if you watched the last video that I will link up in the corner, uh, I was dyeing my hair while I was doing this, so my color was sitting on while I was putting in all of this work. Uh, like I said, it was too much stuff to put into one video, so here I am pinning out the entirety of the pattern. It did not take that much fabric at all. I think this was 60 inches wide, and I used maybe a yard and change to cut out the entirety of the skirt. So this is a really ideal skirt for me to make in the future. There's even a more simplified version in the pattern sleeve. So I think I'm going to be making that for this trip, too. So, like I said, this is a super ideal pattern for fabric-wise. I didn't use very much, and it was a fairly quick cutout, um, and it wasn't hyper-complicated. Pretty much everything I need for a project before Dapper Day. Um, so I cut this all out. These are some terribly unflattering angles for me. Um, but, you know, the things I do for all of you, my wonderful subscribers. Um, this pattern's pretty much all cut out. Um, some pieces I cut multiples of that I didn't need to, I realized after the fact, um, which is why I'm getting the nice single of this one. But now on to the next step. So now I'm going through all my pattern pieces and cutting all the notches and marking all of the dots before I moved on to cutting my lining and interfacing. So then I can mark those too. Now I've moved on from having hair dye all over my hair to just wearing rollers in the front of my hair. If you are more intrigued about this reasoning, I can give you all a video on how I integrate my hair and hair pieces together to create my classic vintage styles while I now have a shorter haircut than I have in the past. That'll be something else but let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see, uh, and I can walk you through this process a little bit better than I did between these two videos. But for now, let's just enjoy some royalty-free music and extremely sped-up video of me doing sewing tasks. <laughs>
use this yellow lightweight material to be my lining. Uh, so I have to cut out the little front design and the waistbands in these, and that's it. I actually would have loved to have lined the entire skirt. This pattern doesn't call for it. I'm not gonna add work for myself this one time. I will almost every other time. Don't you worry. So I'm just gonna speed all of this up, but I'm gonna cut these out and get it finished, get everything ready for me to start sewing. Once I start sewing, I have to figure out how I'm gonna really video that this time. I haven't perfected it yet. I might have to move my sewing table like away from my wall a little bit to get a good angle, but we'll see. I might need to also just buy like another tripod that works better um, for this. So I'm gonna cut out these last few pieces and then I'll get sewing. So I'm actually getting towards the end of the footage that I have for all of you of the sewing process. I could not figure out videoing me at my machine actually. So I also needed all the time that I could get to work on it. So we're gonna jump forward ahead to where it's finished and I'm just gonna show you now what the skirt is looking like pretty much done. So it is pretty much all done now. The last thing I have to do is the hem. Um, but that'll be a quick finish. Uh, I just wanted to show you what the skirt looks like now. So it's nothing too crazy, fairly simple. I did get eyeliner on it already, whatever. Little box pleats in the front, darts in the back. Very cute detailing on the front. A zipper installed. I actually did a decent job with that zipper for once, which is a rarity. And then the top of the skirt on the inside has a little lining that goes all the way around. Now it is, it's lined, which is funny because there was, I feel like I should have done some sort of finishing technique for these. I was kind of breezing through it too quickly. I might go back and Hong Kong stitch all of it. Um, someday, it's not a project that's gonna happen before this Disney trip, that's for sure. It's just gonna be too much work to do that. Um, but it's, I think, a piece that I'm gonna wear a lot in the future. Uh, I So I'm almost done with one of my pieces already. I maybe have to change my ideas because the Mary Poppins return outfit that I wanted to do, I'm probably not going to be able to because I don't have time to make and paint it. Um, so I'm just going to see what I can get done for making. So this skirt is pretty much all set. Just peeking out. Hi. <laughs> I don't know how to fit it all in frame and I can't really see what's being filmed. Um, I had, so I'm, I think I might have kept saying that I was being Flora, which is untrue. We're doing Flora, Fauna, Merryweather and I'm going to be Fauna. She obviously wears all green. Um, so that's the skirt and then I have this fabric that I've been waiting to do something with. Um, and I'm excited because I finally figured it out and it's gonna be a blouse for my fauna look. I don't have a ton of it. My friend Anthony designed it. Uh, I'll put his Instagram below. Um, it's beautiful, it's for sale on Spoonflower, I think. Um, and I've been so excited to work with it but I've had trouble matching color and uh, weight to like add more fabric because what I have isn't going to be enough for a blouse like I want to make. So I have to play around with it a little. I found a fabric at work that I think is maybe close enough. Oh, I thought I had the sample right here, but I actually don't. Um, it's maybe close enough, but I don't know. I'm going to play around a little bit. I might pull in one of these other colors just to make it a little more interesting. Um, so that will be the top and then I'm gonna do like a 40s style tilt conical hat to top that look off so right now I have a great idea of what that one's gonna be but sadly it's not 
completely finished yet. Um, but that's fine. I've also worked on just Dapper Day Progress. I The knitting bag that houses the rest of this bed jacket that I'm currently holding, I've now pieced it together a little bit more. I'm gonna sew the sleeves up tonight and probably attach them tomorrow. And then I just need to find the hood. Uh, if I don't find, I rebought the yarn. This is also also a wool like, um, like the blue bathing suit that I started and the orange hat. Most vintage patterns call for fingering weight, and it's the only one that I can buy in person um, right now. So I replaced the yarn uh, for that, so I'll be able to uh, start it. So this is all. This is, by the way, the yarn that I was talking about. It's pretty much the only fingering weight that Michaels carries in a normal amount. You can find sock weight at Michael and Joanne's, but you have to, there's so little. And I, knitting an entire sweater, that doesn't give me enough. Um, later this week, I'm gonna, I picked up some supplies for a fun little how-to that we'll do together to see if it works. So that's gonna come on Friday. So keep a lookout for that. But for right now, I um, just wanted to show you a bit of an update on where I was with sewing. Um, I'm very excited about my fauna look. I think it's gonna be really fun. Dapper Day as a whole is coming quickly. I bought fabric for my Halloween costume too. Who knows when I'm gonna be able to work on it. But we'll see. I'm excited to try and get everything done. And it's ambitious, but would it be a Disney trip without taking on way too much to do but anyways thank you guys for watching i will see you every tuesday friday and every other sunday for a new video right here on my channel make sure to like and subscribe hit the notification bell so you can get told right when i post a new video i'll see you all later have a good one